Hello everyone. If you are new here, my name is Bishnu. And I would like to welcome you to my channel which provides free downloads of wonderful Lisp files, shares many important tips and tutorials etc. which are certainly going to help you to enhance your AutoCAD skills to pretty much higher level. And there are already some videos with free Lisp downloads and their used tutorials in this channel. So let's get to the point. Here we can see a sample ground floor plan of a hotel. So while drafting, we use different types blocks, annotations, symbols etc. And we use them at multiple locations. Here we can see grid numbers, windows and door symbols etc. Sometimes we might require to change the display size of them. In traditional method, we would go on selecting those objects one by one and scale them one by one which we already know that takes lots of time. And also there are chances of missing some when we have used those items at multiple plans. Also if we select multiple objects and scale with base point, those objects are moved or displaced farther. So, if you are also facing similar kind of issues, I can say you are watching the right video. In this video we are going to learn about how can this problem be solved by the use of this lisp. We are going to learn how to use this lisp file for the purpose of scaling all or multiple similar objects about its individual approximate center in our AutoCAD project file at once. And again, if you are new for the term lisp, a Lisp file is a text file containing code written in the Lisp programming language. Lisp files are commonly used to store functions, macros, and other code structures that can be loaded and executed within a Lisp environment, such as in AutoCAD or other applications that support Lisp. In this video, I have brought a Lisp file that will help us to scale our selected multiple objects about its individual center within a seconds. Here we can see a Lisp file. I have named this file as CAD Magics, which is my YouTube channel name and in bracket we can see SCALL which stands for scale all. This lisp will activate the SCALL command in AutoCAD which will help in scaling our multiple similar objects at once about its approximate center. Now, let's select this lisp file and copy it with Ctrl plus C. Open our working AutoCAD file in which we will use this lisp command. Now we have to paste our copied lisp at the place where AutoCAD uses the space for loading lisp application. For that, we can go and click at this tools option. We can see here load application. Click here. We are at the place where AutoCAD program Lisp files are located. Or, let's just close it for now. We can also access that location by command. We can just type upload or even easier AP and press enter. We are at the same place. From here we can load or unload any applications which are either AutoCAD default programs or any others we have brought here. Let's right click somewhere here and paste. We have to provide administrative permissions for the changes we want to make, click continue and click yes. Then the Lisp file is pasted at this location. Till now we have just pasted our Lisp file here. To get our command to work on this file, we have to load it first. For this, we have to select our Lisp file and click on this load. And we can see here CADMAGIC's SCALL.LSP successfully loaded. Now we can close this dialog box. You can simply click on the link provided below for downloading. But, did you subscribe the channel? If you're new here, let me tell you I create practical AutoCAD tutorials to help you level up your drafting skills one step at a time. There are more useful tutorials on my channel and still more videos are on the way, so make sure don't miss any. Since my channel is very new also I like to request you to share this video to others and support this channel. Now, let's dive in and make AutoCAD a little easier for you to master. Ok. Let's say we have these grid labels. This seems a bit bigger than required. So, we can either select them all first or give the command or just give the command and select later on. Let's type SCALL and press enter. It prompts us to enter the scale factor. We are going to reduce the size, so let's type 0.5 and press enter. Then select the objects we want to scale and press enter. If we want to repeat the process for the leftover objects, we just press enter to activate the last command. We can see 0.5 shown default, just press enter. Select the objects and press enter. There is another way too. Let's say we want to change these door and windows labels. We think they look a bit smaller. So we can select one of the label and type select similar and press enter. We can see all the door and window labels are selected. 
Then type the command SCALL and press enter. This time let's type 1.2 for scale factor as we are going to make them a bit larger. Press enter. Our selection is not shown selected and it prompts us to select objects once again. But this time we can just type P and press enter. This will automatically select the objects that were selected just before our command entry. We can see our previously selected labels are selected and highlighted. Now just press enter. We can see the size of labels are scaled to larger size. And we don't even need to go on repositioning those labels. Isn't it very easy? Just give the command. Type the scaling factor, select the required elements and press enter. Or, select one of them. Type select similar and press enter. Type SCALL command and press enter. Type scaling factor. Then type P and press enter for selection of previously selected items selection. And again press enter. Isn't it a very time-saving tool? And that's a wrap. You can simply click on the link shared below to download the Lisp file. And I still have hundreds of useful Lisp files at my backup. Since my channel is very new, do not hesitate to support by sharing, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. I have used this AI voiceover for clear audio. If you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions or need more clarification, drop them in the comments below, I'd love to help. Thanks for watching, and happy drafting!